purpose. It's like imagine that you work so hard on writing a song and someone sang it and the song was simply meaningless to you because it was lacking spirit. I'm talking about the spirit of when someone sings, you should feel shivers down your spine because there's so much emotion and feeling in everything. It's a big thing. So I'm gonna tell you a couple things that make me feel connected spiritually to the universe, to the world. And the biggest thing is, is I can, I can give you a whole handful of things I do. Heck, I could even give you just a whole library of things that I do. But I really just wanted to kind of go over the things. These are the main things that I find myself going to very frequently when it comes to spirituality, feeling connected in life to something much larger than myself. And the truth is, is I have evolved so much. And But the biggest thing is, is the, the vision, the picture has never changed. It's always been about my God. It's always been about serving Jesus. And some things that I've done is I've evolved from actually writing things down. Rather, it's songs, poems. Um, for a while, it was actually spells at a very young age. Um, so I would write my own music to feel connected to my spirit, to my God. Something that I remember hearing is if you have a beautiful voice, why not share it with the Lord? Because isn't, doesn't that make it beautiful? That Doesn't that make singing having more of a purpose? So it's like we are given gifts, so why not use that gift to serve the Lord? So then another thing here is music. Something that I find about music is I can really, really connect when it comes to music, especially, especially when it comes to very ambient music, very ambient music, piano music. Um, I legit was just sitting in the bathtub today and almost fell asleep <laughs> because I was listening to music that really just relaxed me. So when I listen to music, and lately I've been really listening to a lot of Christian contemporary music, but I've also been listening to jazz, and I've been listening to um, just some, like, I like classical music. Now, don't get me wrong, I can definitely go in the other genres here, but this is about connection here. And something as well that, you know, that really brought me more to my spirituality is when I, when I was having a hard time in life, Music had a way of bringing me back to my focus, to my focus of my existence, if that makes sense. It's like the perfect song would play when I needed it most. Rather, it was after a breakup, after a death in the family, when Sean left for BMT for the longest time and I needed to find a song that I could just hold on to that would make me feel excited to be able to reunite with him. Things like that. Music I am extremely connected to. Extremely. And I actually wanted to share a song because just again with like music, I'll keep it really short, but it simply is, this song is called Green Pastures and it's on my Abide app and I'll share it with you. Um, and I might have to turn down the volume a little because it might get a little loud, but it's called Green Pastures. This actually was the song that I actually fell asleep in the bathtub with. It's just very ambient. You got the water. So again, a very pretty song, right? I just thought I'd share that. It's and notice that it, I just I love how it said green pastures, and then it said he makes me lie down in green pastures and he leads me to quiet waters. Absolutely, that's all what this is about is believing in something much larger than yourself. So I know I kind of hung out on music a lot, 
So writing, music. Another thing that I really evolved to when it came to finding connections was crystals. Actually looking at crystals and looking at, you know, I believe that crystals hold specific frequencies. Our bodies hold specific frequencies. And I believe that when our frequency is low, we tend to feel sick or sad, that, which is why we need to maintain our high frequencies. This kind of also gets into essential oils as well. Rose oil has a very high frequency. If you're feeling kind of down in the dumps, I challenge you, just put a little bit of essential oil on there. And I mean, you're getting 10 times the benefits of a frequency to your body, which is pretty awesome. All in all, nature is just pretty awesome in general when it comes to just being connected spiritually in your life. So some things that are a part of nature that really just makes me feel connected. Again, it's, it's crystals, it's aromatherapy with different, whether it's pine, it's rose, lavender, um, camp, Roman chamomile, just all these different things that really just create a connectedness, a connection. But then another thing as well as the sun. The sun, for some reason, I could be, I could be in the most down dump, I kid you not. I could already have my day planned and I'm like, nope, like this is what's gonna happen. The moment I get in the sun, it's like a kiss from God in a way. It's like the sun just, I can feel the warm sun and it's like a warm kiss on my skin. And it makes me feel happy. And it makes me just feel like, wow, like life is so worth living. That's why I really appreciate the sun I love looking at sunsets. I love looking at when the sun rises. I love looking, just feeling, just sitting in the sun. Does anybody else like sitting in the sun? I find a huge connection with God when it comes to the sun because it's like a kiss. It's like a, it's like a kiss. And then the wind, the wind itself, it could be the coldest of cold times. But for some reason, even in our chaotic world, I'll just be outside. And it's like the wind is just, it's like a hug. It's like a whisper in a way to God, from God, just saying, hey, I've got you. It's a beautiful life out there. I've got you. So the sun is like a kiss. The wind is like a hug. Don't ask me where I've got this. This is just my theory of what I've came up in my mind because this is how I can stay connected. And I'm telling you, all these different connections, it just leads back to one big picture. And that big picture is God. Now, another thing is water. I love looking at the ripples of the water. Rather, you know, don't we all just love being in the ocean, being near the ocean? Now, I can tell you when I'm in the ocean, I won't go past my hips when it comes to that, but I love watching it. I love looking at the waves. I live by a lake, so like my husband and I, we just took a walk. I love looking at the ripples and the different colors that the sky just beams on the lake. There's something about water that just instantaneously calms us. It relaxes us. It relaxes me. Me just being in a bathtub full of Epsom salts and, you know, like I like to put geranium in my bath. It's so relaxing for me. But then not to mention, you know, I'll run diffusers in the house and it, it, it's like water vapors or in the air. Or it's like if you're just on, if you're water tubing, you know, on the river, it's relaxing. You know, it, it's just, there's something about water. Another thing I like to do is when I sleep, I like to play water sounds. It's just a great way to find peace in your life. And for me, when I find peace, I now can hear God. Like, I'm ready and I'm all ears for God. Okay, God, I'm ready. You know, because there's so many times God is, you know, we, we call out to God so much. And we don't get a response because we're so darn busy because we want an answer, but we don't make time to listen to that answer. Does that make sense? So another thing I like to connect with, again, 
So I named writing, music, crystals, aromatherapy, flowers is a big one. I love flowers, anything nature, anything beautiful, like flowers has to be a really big one for me. Like especially in this past year, flowers, they're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I actually have a story. I know this is going to be like, I'm going to, this is going to be a little bit longer of a video than normal, but I, I got a hibiscus plant and those things you normally find in like Oahu. I kid you not. I waited and waited and waited for this hibiscus to plant. And you know what? One hibiscus flower showed up. And then after that, I think a deer ate it. But I kid you not, like, it was just so amazing being able to babysit this hibiscus all summer long. And then when you see it actually bloom, it was so beautiful. And yeah, I was a little bummed when the deer ate it or whatever ate it, but it was just like a connection of like, wow. Look at like how beautiful nature is and look at what our creator has created for us these beauties of life. Finding the little and meaningful things in life is what builds an amazing life. Being present in your life is what creates appreciation in your life. So another thing I like to look at is dreams. I will tell you I've actually had more dreams than nightmares, thank goodness. But dreams, I, I actually, for a while, I would actually have an app and I would look up the symbolization of the dreams. And sometimes it would indicate a negative thing in my life that I need to focus on. And sometimes it would focus on good and new beginnings. And I would look at different symbols such as doors or um, just different like colors as well. Or just like, it could be a cat, like a symbol of a cat or a wolf, just just things like that. Um, so I really got into dreams um, and looking into dreams and finding my connection. And again, it just leads all to one thing, one huge, amazing person, and that's God, you know. Then I would look at horoscopes and, you know, I would sometimes look at my horoscope. Another thing I do is I look at, um, they're like my rainbow unicorn cards. Again, it's not like that pseudoscience thing. It's just simply I use it as a connection with God. Same thing with manifestation. I use it with the connection of, of Jesus, of God, you know? And, and that's what I do. You can do whatever you want. But I believe that I have found my purpose when it comes to God. Mm -hmm.